Have you discovered the magic of three yard quilts? With three one yard cuts of fabric, you will be able to transform them into a lovely lap quilt in no time at all. Keep watching. Hi, it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Today we're going to talk about the magic of three yard quilts. I'm going to go over some details with you that you may not be aware of. And if you've never made a three yard quilt, you're going to love it if you ever give it a try. So we're going to start off with one of our first quilts from the book Quick as a Wink. Each one of these quilts that we show you today are considered a lap quilt. And in the instructions, we give you detailed instructions on how to prepare your fabric and cut it and put it together in your quilt. So you're going to learn all of those secrets today. We're going to start with this one. It's called Modern Charm. Modern Charm is one that whenever I saw the fabric, I just thought it was so pretty, but I used an old fashioned quilt design with it. And the reason I did that is because I thought it would be fun to kind of show an old fashioned pattern with an updated fabric. So these beautiful roses with the churn dash uh, block right here uh, looks really good together. So let's put that up on the table and we're going to talk about your fabric. We're gonna talk about how to place your fabric in a three yard quilt. So the very first one are these beautiful roses. Now, to start with, we've got a focus fabric. You have three fabrics, and each one of these need to be put in a specific spot in your quilt, which is so super easy. Every single pattern is written this way. You have a black and white diagram, and to Pick your fabrics for your different positions. You're going to look at your little polka dot. Fabric number one is going to be your focus fabric. Now your focus fabric is going to be your largest print anytime you have three one yard cuts. So you pick your focus fabric, it's going to go in that number one position. The number two position and the number three position are determined other two fabrics. So you take the focus fabric out of the equation and you have two fabrics remaining. You will pick out your lightest one for the number two, represented by a white box, and the darkest one in your number three, represented by a black box. Then whenever you start reading your pattern, it's super simple, cutting instructions, what to cut from one, what to cut from two, and what to cut from three. So it's a super easy way for you to um, pick out your fabrics. And if you're ever shopping, all you need to remember is you need three one yard cuts. So let's look at this. The focus fabric is always gonna go in your largest position on your quilt. And then your light color becomes the background for your, your design in the quilt. And then the dark fabric is going to be an accent of the design, and it usually always falls out in the border as well. Now, what happens if you fall in love with this quilt and you think, well, it's a nice lap quilt, but I want it bigger? Every book has complete instructions for enlarging to a lap or a king queen. Now, we sell three yard quilt kits, and we tell you, you just need one of the kits to make the lap, which is a size we showed you earlier. You need two kits to make a twin and you need four kits to make the king queen. So how big does it make? All right, I showed you this lap quilt here. And then, voila, we have a twin. This is two kits and it will make a quilt this big. A nice size that will drape over the sides of your twin bed. If you want a king queen, you just imagine two of these put together. So we give you complete instructions for laying out your quilt. Thank you, Hannah. All right, let's put this one over here. And now we're going to talk about uh, which pattern. Oh, let's talk about this. This is your information for the quilt we just showed you. Here's your kit number 8020258 -258, Modern Charm. It's um, the name of the pattern and the kit. It's from the book called Quick as a Wink. Now this book, this pattern is only available in the Quick as a Wink book, but your alternate pattern will be the Heartland pattern. So it's a little bit different from uh, the Modern Charm. 
Okay, the other thing that's really cool about three yard quilts is that any three yards will go in any one of my three yard quilt patterns. Now the first quilt we're gonna show you to here is going to be called, it's the pattern is called Lightning and it's from our book, Easy Does It. So Lightning is a great one. The pattern is called Lightning. The kit is called Man Cave. We wanted to create a, um, a quilt that would be really good for those cool evenings for your guys to cuddle up underneath their quilt. So this one is called Lightning, and we've used some great quilt fabrics that look good in uh, your living room. I love this marbled look here, and it kind of has that feel of camo without being over-the-top cam camo. Okay, let's put that one up here, Hannah. And here's our fabric. So remember I said I like that marbled look. That is really, really nice. And this would look great on a brown leather sofa, I think. This would be your largest print and your focus fabric. I would rather have this for a focus than this one because it's a lighter one. It would just fall to the back. So this is my focus. It goes here. Then we compare these two fabrics and come up with our light and our dark. So we have our focus, our two, and our three. Here is your number, 802016, Man Cave. Lightning is your pattern. It is only available in the book Easy Does It, but because fabric will work together, we recommend an alternate pattern called Corner Play. Now, this is where the fun begins. Remember I said that any fabric will work with any pattern? So I showed you earlier this one. This is lightning. Now, right next door <laughs> is Hannah holding up corner play. Same fabric, two different patterns. And each one of them takes exactly the same amount of fabric. So I'm going to swap with Hannah, and we're going to put corner play up here. So here we have our same fabric. You have your marbled color, you have your light green, and then you have your black. This kit, we've shown you the number 802016 Man Cave. If you ever want to order a kit and you want to switch out the pattern, you can do that by just going, uh, putting that in the comments section. Now, not only can you use the same fabric, in any one of the patterns, you can, we want you to see how it looks different with different fabrics as well. So this one is corner play made with the man cave fabric. And right next to that, Hannah is holding up a um, more modern print with the blacks and the reds. Same exact pattern, just different fabrics. So let's swap with you again. I do not have this specific uh, fabric available, but what I do have is another fabric that will give you a similar look. This is a new fabric that we've just gotten in, and it's more of a black and white and um, red with a little more toned down. This one's kind of a scribble flower, and this would be your largest print. So once again, that goes into your number one spot. Your number two is your lightest of these two and that becomes your background. So you can really see on corner play how the design of the quilt is really comes forward off of that lighter color. So this would be your background, and then your number three on this one would be the red. So this one is called Sketches. It is the corner play pattern. The corner play pattern is available in Pretty Darn Quick. It's also available as an individual pattern. <clears throat> now the next quilt is called Town Square. I like Town Square because it really shows off a of focus fabric here and it's just framed by two different colors. Really a cute pattern. And we do not have this fabric, but I do have another fabric that's really cute. And we have what we call pieces and parts. I like to go through and show you how you will be assembling the quilt. So we're going to make this block and I will put different fabric on top of this so you can see how the assembly goes. So here's our 
pattern for town square. One of the things that we do that make three yard quilts so magical and being able to get a quilt top made in about six to eight hours is that you will strip piece. So whenever we tell you to cut your fabrics, we're going to tell you to strip piece some of the uh, colors. And here is an example. So we have our pink is your, your top strip and the red is your bottom strip. So your fabric two and your fabric three. Now, whenever you cut, when you sew those together, then we ask you to cut um, our um, units. So we're going to cut the units right off of the side. And we give you the measurement for cutting these. So you end up with these pieces here. Now, let me pull this over to one side. And we also tell you with your fabric one, you're going to make your big square. So we'll put that here. These are going to go here and here. Then we have you to do one more strip piece. And this is a really large strip piece. Super simple to stitch together and make your strip assembly. And then you cut another unit. So we have this unit and this unit that we cut off of the larger strip assembly. These will go here and here. And then we're going to crop that so you can see how it looks. So this just converted this quilt so that you can see how cool that is going to look whenever you make your quilt top. So that's how strip piecing goes and how quick and easy it will go together for you. All right, let's look at that fabric up close and personal here. So we have our hearts that we cut for our number one. We have the two remaining fabrics and with the two remaining fabrics, we compare those two for two and three, then just simply follow your instructions for cutting your strips, do your strip piecing, and sew those blocks together. And voila, the magic has taken place. 8021031 is the kit number. Sweethearts is the uh, name of this kit. It's town square pattern, and that is from the book Easy Peasy. Now, I know we've got a lot of people watching today, and if you're an, uh, an experienced quilter that just needs a quilt in a hurry, the next one's perfect for you. But guess what else? It is perfect for a beginner. So if you're looking for a good quilt to get started with, this one is the one that I would recommend. It is called Sew Quick. Sew Quick has a big 10-inch block, and then it has a four patch, and it goes together just like a dream. It goes together so fast, and you have a wonderful quilt, either a lap quilt or a baby quilt. Or once again, if you get our books, they will give you the instructions for enlarging the patterns. Let's put that one up here. I don't have that fabric, but I do have another really cute fabric that just came in. And this one is called Campfire Friends, and it is so cute. All the cute little animals. This will go into your large 10 inch block. We'll scoot this over here. So here's your 10 inch block. And then we do the strip piecing once again with these two. And they will go here. So you make one unit and then you just turn one when you put it onto the quilt. Super easy to do. This one is 8021066 Campfire Friends. So Quick is your pattern, and it's from the book Quilt, Quilt Favorites. Now, Quilt Favorites is only available as a download. It's no longer in print. So if you order it, then we will send you a code, and you can download that pattern. Now, another thing that we like is we, we've done many. We have over 100 patterns for you to choose from. But this one's great whenever you want a big panel so that you can show off bigger, splashier fabrics. 
In this case, I didn't use a huge splashy fabric, but it is pretty splashy with all the red, green, and uh, gold. I don't have this fabric, but I do have some great splashy fabric over here that I want to show you. This one is called Captivating, and it's beautiful fabric. It's also a metallic, so it has just a little touch of metallic in it with the peacock feathers. Now, that's truly going to be a splashy fabric on this one, and it's going to be so gorgeous in this, these big blocks. So you have this number one fabric is the peacock uh, feathers, and then you have this. It almost looks like you've got your peacock with all of its feathers opened out. It's gorgeous. Your number one fabric goes in this block. The number two will go here. And then your number three, also a little bit of metallic, is going to go where the green is. Now, you see these strips. The really cool thing about a stripe and the three-yard quilt fabric patterns, I try to put them in a way that it, they're easy to use. So all of these stripes are going to go across this sashing and out on the border. So it is a great quilt for you to, um, quilt pattern for you to use with this pretty fabric. Really, really showcase the beautiful prints. 8021065 is the kit number. The name is Captivating. Byzantine door is available as an individual pattern. It's also available as um, in the book Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts. Now that one is another one that is no longer in print, but we do have it as a downloadable pattern. So that's a little bit of information about the magic of three yard quilts. And once you start making them, you'll get hooked in a hurry because they are so much fun to do. You can make a top in about six to eight hours and you're ready to quilt and give it as a gift or use it for yourself. And remember, you can also make it into a twin or a king queen by in increasing your, in your fabric. I have nine different patterns in print. I've got a brand new book coming out next um, month, so keep, be sure to watch the month of February. We'll be talking about the new quilt book. Uh, great for stash busting, so if you have a nice big stash that you'd like to whittle down, this is a great way to do it. Just pick a focus fabric, a light, and a dark, and you're ready to quilt. So this is Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Please visit our website, fabriccafe.com. And if you've enjoyed this quilt, we hope that you'll come back again and that you'll click that little button right down there that says subscribe. Leave us a comment, too, and tell us what you like and what you'd like to see in the future. So thanks for joining us. <laughs>